So over the last eight months, Warner Brothers have released three trailers to Dune Part 2. It looks absolutely breathtaking. The cinematography that Greg Fraser has done, the visual effects, the story, it all looks absolutely fantastic and it's made me really excited to go watch Dune Part 2 in cinemas and especially in IMAX as well because it was filmed with IMAX cameras. When watching these trailers, we've been shown a handful of shots that appear to be in black and white. But it turns out it's not actually black and white, it's been filmed in infrared. Which led me on a massive search across the internet to try and gather some more information about the use of infrared cinematography in June. But unfortunately there wasn't too much that I could find, which is why I wanted to make this video because I wanted to open a discussion about the use of infrared imaging uh, in June and also in other films as well because it's such a unique way to present an image to an audience and it's something that we don't really see a lot of as well, especially in uh, big blockbuster films. The beauty of infrared photography and cinematography is that it captures a different spectrum of light that we can't see with the naked human eye, offering a new perspective that's both captivating and informative. So the question that I have is what's the reason for using infrared for June? Coming from a cinematography background, there's currently three different reasons I can think of. The first reason I can think of would be from a story perspective. Um, they could use this type of imaging to showcase events from the past, present or future. And since part one and in these trailers as well for part two, um, we see a lot of visions that Paul has uh, during the film. And this could just be another really interesting way to visually showcase events that have either already taken place or could potentially happen. The second reason that I came up with was because it just looks so damn cool. Um, it creates so much contrast in the image, it separates the foreground from the background and gives depth to the image, and it also makes the characters stand out so well in the image. Um, it gives Greg Fraser a lot of um, opportunity to experiment and to learn new things and as a as a DOP myself that's something that I'm always striving to do is to push the boundaries and to try new cameras and new lenses and new ways of capturing an image. This just gives him an awesome opportunity to experiment and play around with a new way of presenting an image to an audience. I'm just thinking about it, shooting in infrared would not only affect the camera department, but would also affect every other department there was. You know, in terms of the way that they go about lighting, the way that the costumes and props are made, uh, the sets as well, and also visual effects. And the third reason was maybe it has something to do with the world building of June. Maybe this location or planet that we're on actually looks like this. Um, and has nothing to do with the past or the future and has more to do with the characteristics of this planet or location. So what do you think the reason is why they would want to film these scenes in infrared? Let me know in the comment section down below and we can have a conversation about it there. Other than that, thanks for watching. <laughs>